For this video, I am going to be primarily talking to anyone who was born after the year 1990. So I just want you to imagine, if you will, a world where you did not have the luxury of music at your fingertips wherever and whenever you wanted. None of this little smartphones where you could just by pressing a button say, I feel like listening to country today. I feel like listening to techno. I feel like listening to hip hop. I feel like listening to rap. I feel like listening to grunge. I feel like listening to classic rock just at the push of a button. Imagine a world, if you will, where you did not have the freedom or the ability to just wherever you wanted to go, take an entire catalog of music with you. A world where you had to choose sides. You had to pick exactly what you wanted to listen to. Imagine a world where the only thing you had to listen to was whatever happened to be on the radio. If you want to hear your favorite song? Well, guess what? You're going to have to go to the store and you're going to have to lay down at least 10 bucks and pick yourself up one of these babies, a cassette, a cassette that maybe you could play in your car. Maybe if you were lucky enough, you could listen to while you exercise. Maybe you could listen to in the comfort of your own home and this had a finite amount of music on it. I'm not talking a 90 minute playlist. I'm not talking a three hour, four hour amount of music with a whole range of whatever you wanted to listen to. You wanted to listen to Information Society. You had to go out, you had to buy this cassette and maybe if you were lucky enough to own a car that actually had a cassette player, you might be able to listen to this in your car. Otherwise, you were stuck listening to the radio. And not only that, you wouldn't just be able to listen to any song you wanted to listen to. If your favorite song was at the beginning of side two, and this tape was wound at the beginning of side one, you were out of luck. You were gonna wait at least 10 minutes before you could hear your song. And if you didn't like the first song, you would have to press a button and you'd have to wait until you could hear the next song. You'd press the button. Oh, nope, it's still the song I don't like. Press the button again. Wait. Press the button. Nope, it's still the song I don't like. Press the button. Wait. Press the button again. Oh, now it's a song I like, but now it's a minute and 30 seconds in. Press this button. Go back. Now it's the song I don't like again. I got to press the button again. I mean, you can't even imagine living in a world where you had to do that just to listen to your favorite songs. And not every album was great. There was a lot of filler tracks that you wanted to skip over, tracks that you didn't want to listen to. But your choices were you either listen to the song and wait for your favorite songs to come on or you'd have to press the buttons and hope that you would get it right. Or if you were well-to-do, ooh, and you made a lot of money, and maybe you had a fancy schmancy cassette player that could recognize the spaces in between songs that might actually forward to that. But still, there was a lot of work involved. And that's, don't even get me started, maybe if you couldn't afford a high-end cassette player, the cassette player would say, screw you, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to eat your tape that you spent 10, sometimes 15 bucks on, and you're just out of luck. And if you want to hear those songs again, hopefully you got a friend who has that cassette, or you're going right back to the store, and you're going to lay down another $10, another $15 to buy a cassette like this. Do you have any idea how many lawns I would have to cut? How many hours I would have to work in the shoe department at the Kmart of my local store just to be able to afford the amount of music that you listen to on one of your trendy little playlists? We're talking probably eight cassettes, which would probably take me about two and a half months to earn the amount of money that I would need to buy all of that music. And you just take it for granted. You think, oh, you see a cassette, you laugh at me. You see my cassette collection at home, you're pointing your fingers, you're calling me an old man, saying, oh, ha ha, why would anybody collect something so old? Well, I'll tell you why. 
because I worked hard for this music, okay? I didn't have an iPhone that was just handed to me loaded with music or a fancy internet that I could just connect to and get hooked up with all the music that I wanted to listen to. Now, anytime I want to hear Information Society, all I got to do is I got to pull up my phone and I got to look it up on my Spotify takes me maybe 20 seconds and I am listening to what's on your mind. And I may be dancing to it, but that's none of your business. That's totally a different conversation. And if you wanted to know what your band looked like, we didn't have a fancy internet where we could just go on and we could surf and we could see the pictures of our favorite band, what they looked like. No, we had to hope. This little thing is called an inlay card and you had to hope that there was a picture of your band on it and there would be only one picture there. This was the only picture that you had of your favorite band. Maybe you might see them on MTV, but even so, this is all you got to look at. And if you wanted to take all your music with you, you'd have to put all of your tapes in a suitcase, lug it around with you in your car or wherever you wanted to go. Can you even imagine living in a world like that? No, you can't. And I'm not talking about some kind of dystopian society of the future. I'm not talking about like the books you might have read, 1984, or Operation Mind Crime, or those stories that you've heard. I am talking about the reality that I lived through in the 1980s. If I wanted to hear Information Society, I didn't just take it for granted. I had to whip this cassette out. I had to hope that my cassette player wouldn't chew it. I had to skip over the songs. I had to figure out how long each song was, how long I had to press the button to get to those songs turn the tape over, all these things that you are privileged to live in a world that you don't have to worry about. It was a different world back then. We had to suffer for our music. It was no chore. We had to work for our music. We had to work to listen to the songs that defined our generation. It wasn't just handed to us. It wasn't just at the tip of our fingertips, the press of a button. So I hope you appreciate the kind of world that you live and the sacrifices that we made to bring to you the music that you can just enjoy without a second thought. You're welcome.